All right, let's start with the big story that we're tracking on Vyond Adesa, where in a major diplomatic development, India's foreign minister, S. Jay Shankar, is making a kind of an unscheduled visit to Sri Lanka to meet with the newly elected Lankan president, Gotabaya Rajapakse. Now, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi was first to, of course, reach out to Gotabaya Rajapakse after his victory. And this will be followed by the Sri Lankan president's visit to India on the 29th of November, making it his first state visit after taking charge. Now, the previous Sri Lankan regime was considered to be close to the Indian government. China was, of course, able to expand its reach during Mahindra Rajapakse's tenure. So the biggest challenge is, of course, the Chinese investments that took place during Rajapakse's time in his constituency of Hambantota, where China had invested more than a billion dollars for the development of a deep water port. Now, Jay Shankar's visit is important in this regard. Sri Lanka has been important for India from a strategic perspective. Now, Sri Lanka, remember, had battled the LTTE, a terror group, for a long time, which almost had destabilized the South Indian state of Tamil Nadu as well. Now, the LTTE father were responsible for the assassination of the former Prime Minister of India, Rajiv Gandhi. Meanwhile, a Swedish court has now decided to drop the charges of rape against WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. The case dates back to 2010, and the decision of the court was communicated by the deputy chief prosecutor, Eva Murray Person. Now, the WikiLeaks founder was accused of rape and also sexual assault following a WikiLeaks conference in Stockholm in the year 2010. Now, Assange has consistently denied the charges and had taken refuge in the Ecuadorian embassy in 2012 to avoid arrest in London. Now, the rape case against him was dropped in 2017, but Sweden had revived the case last year. Now, Assange alleged political pressure was mounting on Sweden to take the step. Now, all this happened while the 47-year-old Australian whistleblower was lodged at South East London's Belmarsh prison for violating bail conditions. Earlier, a Swedish court had ruled that Assange could not be detained to face probe in this rape case. Now, this, of course, has come as a big relief to Julian Assange, who now finds himself clear of the charge, but his woes are far from over. Now, Assange is still fighting an extradition request from the United States for publishing their secret documents.